Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, here we are in September of 2017 and we are starting our new slot car race league which will be Can-Am. So we will be racing on many Canadian and American tracks. I'm actually making this into a real Can-Am race from 1970. I looked up the actual race schedule from that time and it starts with Mossport out in Ontario, Canada. So let's go down and watch the race and afterwards I will show you how to build your own Mossport racetrack. All right. So I got my car set up as a ghost again. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh. One for the ghost car. <laughs> Good luck, Howard. <laughs> So this is our first league in the new Can-Am League, but the cars are not in. So we're just using uh, E200 racers again. And Matt's not here and everyone's really quiet. Everybody's serious on racing tonight. So, ghost car fell out. Oh, Roger rolled it. This is ghost car, Josh, and Howard. Three again. So where's the ghost? Probably third. <laughs> well, three minutes of filming and we haven't heard anyone scream or swear. <laughs> I won't have to edit. Ghost car takes Josh out. Oh. Oh. Ghost car still got two. Ah, but he's he's way behind. Well, at least a guaranteed second. Oh, sorry. Unless I take him out. Or he takes you out. Got 
catch them in the cross. Howard took himself out. Yeah. The ghost car wins. Yeah. Unbelievable. Outpaced by a pace car. Okay, the heart attack alarm is coming off. So we got the pace car, Howard, um, Josh, was it Mark and Roger? Roger Okay. And wasn't that a great race? So here I have the race results for the entire night on this sheet of paper. Now we will be transferring this to our whiteboard on the next video. But I got 29 points. Josh got 41. Roger got 18. Mark got 14. And Howard got 42. So that means that Howard came in first with Josh second, me third, Howard fourth, and Mark fifth. Now I still think most people are away on holidays for September or you know end of summer so hopefully we will see them all next week and begin. Now let's take a look at how we built the track. Now as you can see I've built it with the standard rectangle. So this is a two foot table here followed by two four by eight tables and Two more 4x8 tables for a complete total of 8 feet along and 18 feet that way. And as you can see, now many of you that remember our old videos will know Matt. Now I have the start finish gate. Originally this was all four lane. Start finish gate and then the fuel eye and the other fuel eye. Well Matt owned the other fuel eye. Uh, so he took it with them because he moved away and um, anyway so I would only be able to do three lanes so I've ordered a new start or not the start finish gate but the extension piece that plugs in here from Carrera and that will be coming in the next week or so I also ordered um, oh two replacement controllers because they broke and I ordered eight of the actual cars we're going to race, the Porsche 917Ks. There was a little bit of a, a delay on the <laughs> with some of the order. Nobody's fault, really. But anyway, so I've gone back to using the two lane that goes out to the four lane for now until I can get the replacement track piece, which will be nice because then I got the track piece. And I don't need to add in any more of the crisscross whatever to get the other electric eyes to work. Because it just plugs in to these ports here. And that'll be so nice. I can actually put the start finish, uh, the, um, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> the pit lane that I have, I can actually put that into there on the end when all this is done. And we can actually run the pace car which was something that was lacking. But anyway, okay, let us look at how to build Mossport. So we have to back up over here. Here's where you start. So again, always a good place is the edge of the table on the angle. So right here we have a 120 degree turn. This is using your R1s and R2s and R2D2 <laughs> radius 1 radius 2 so that would be the uh, 1-60 and the 2-30s so we have two 1-60s I'll start on the inside two 1-60s a quarter a straight of your choice I chose the cross um, <laughs> 90 degree curve with the 1-30s 1-60s, another 90 degree with 1-60, 1-30, and a reverse 130, 160. So you have this S shape right there. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 straights. One of the straights being your start-finish gate. And like I said, I have to use the pinch here. Then we've got 
a more gentle curve with our R3 our and R4 radiuses. So this is a 3 dash 30, uh, 6, yeah, 3-30 and two 4-15s one way into the table and then back out to the table is the same curves. Then we've got a straight. Now here I did something different. I used a hairpin, but this is your typical 180 degree curve. If you don't have the hairpin, just use your R, R1 and R2s for the curves. And then here again, we've got the big subtle curve. Right there, we have our R3 and R4s. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five straights out to here. And then a 90 using our R1s. And then we've got a mid range here. So we've got R2 and R3. One, two, three of those for a 90. And two straights, and then you're hooked back up into here. So that is Mossport. Like that. And we'll go around on this edge. And look at it like that. So there you go. Hope you can build this in your own little area and have fun.